is chemistry, uh, GCSE required practical. We're going to be investigating the variables that affect temperature changes in a neutralization reaction. We will be reacting hydrochloric acid with varying amounts of sodium hydroxide and we are going to be monitoring temperature changes. So this is our equipment list. So we've got two molar solution of hydrochloric acid, two molar solution of sodium hydroxide. We've got a polystyrene cup with a lid on it. We've got a 250 milliliter beaker. We've got a 10 ml of Michelin cylinder. We've got 50 ml Michelin cylinder. And we've got a thermometer. So we have to do a risk assessment of what we have in front of us. And so we have glassware that can break, so we've got to handle it carefully. We also have two solutions. We have hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. These solutions can be harmful to the eyes, they can irritate the skin, and therefore we've got to wear safety goggles at all times during the investigation. Independent variable, we've got the volume of sodium hydroxide. That's what we are changing. Dependent variable, we've got the temperature. That's what we're measuring. And we've got the control variable. That is what remains unchanged. The volume of hydrochloric acid and also the concentrations of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. So using a 50 mil metallic cylinder, we're going to measure 30 centimeter cubed of hydrochloric acid. So we can use the pipette just to make sure that we are accurate in making sure that we've got the correct amount. And then we're supposed to read the lower side of the meniscus just to make sure that we are accurate. We are going to put that into our polystyrene cup. Replace the lid. Yeah, we then put the cup in the beaker to make it more stable so that it doesn't tip over. So um, uh, I just took the temperature of the hydrochloric acid inside the cup and that is 22 degrees Celsius. And we need to record that uh, in our table. So we then measure five milliliters of sodium hydroxide into the small measuring cylinder. So then we're going to add the five milliliters of sodium hydroxide into the acid. Replace the lid and give it a little shake just to make sure that the two solutions mix. And then we have to take the maximum temperature reached by the solutions. Give it a little time just so that there's a reaction. That's about 23 degrees Celsius, and we record that in our table. So we continue adding five milliliters of sodium hydroxide every time, and then record the maximum temperature reached. So we repeat this uh, experiment twice so that we've got two values and then the third column, we get a mean of the two values. Obviously, the, the reason why we have to do it twice and then get the mean is so that the re results appear more uh, repeatable, but also more accurate. So we can then plot a graph with the mean maximum temperature in degrees Celsius on the y-axis and the total volume of sodium hydroxide added in centimeter cubed on the x-axis.
As we increase the volume of sodium hydroxide, the maximum temperature reached increases. This is because as you increase the volume of sodium hydroxide, you increase the number of particles of sodium hydroxide, which then react with hydrochloric acid more readily. Also, our results show that the maximum temperature reached is 33 degrees Celsius when adding a volume of 30 centimeter cubed of sodium hydroxide. However, at a volume of 35 centimeter cubed of sodium hydroxide, the maximum temperature begins to decrease. This is due to the fact that we have added so much volume of sodium hydroxide that there is not enough hydrochloric acid to react with it, leaving some unreacted. This is shown by the graph. You can then draw two lines of best fit to represent the information. So I hope you enjoyed this investigation. So this practical is part of our required practicals uh, for GCSE. If you want to get more or find out more, please look at our website, tiny.cc slash HVS required practicals. Mm -hmm.